G'day and thank you for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at Streets of Rogue 2, the demo, which is now available via Steam Next Fest. Now, I'm probably a bit of an outlier here in that I never actually played the first Streets of Rogue. Um, it came on my radar a little while ago because I, I, I realised how highly regarded it was. And shortly after that, this sequel was announced. And I've been following the development ever since and um, it looks like it's going to come together to make a quite a quite a good experience. Um, but now the demo is finally available and we can jump in and have a good early look at what this game is like. Uh, so as you can see here, you know, it's a work in progress, it's unfinished, features are missing, content that isn't finished, um, it's unbalanced, it's not optimized, you know, they give us the full disclosure, this is a very early build, but it's a good chance to jump in and give it a try. Obviously, all the options aren't available here, but it's good to know that there will be online support and modding, modding support, I suppose. Oh, and local multiplayer eventually, which is cool. And uh, we get to create a new character here. Now, obviously, there are a lot of different careers or classes to choose from, from uh, politician to werewolf to zombie. Bouncer, comedian, detective. <laughs> Interesting. In the demo, we only have access to the three by the looks of it. We have the chef. Whoops. We have the chef, which uh, looks like it has chef related skills cooking, foraging, and money making. The cop belongs to a faction law enforcement, as you can see over here. Looks like there's a different affinities with different groups and factions, so hates zombies, but friends with law enforcement, predictably. Skills are the law. They can imprison, they can use guns, and they can, they're can they good at team building. And the soldier has guns, melee, and dexterity. I think we'll pick the soldier. And we'll just give him a name, soldier, saintly. There we go. Then we get to create a new world to play in. So they're randomly generated to some extent. They're obviously seeded. Um... There we go. We'll just create a new world for this new character. World modifiers. Gee, so there's a ridiculous amount of customization for your world here. Zombies ate my game balance. World size, weather, speed run mode, permanent day or night. No guns, no cars, many werewolves. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't know if any of this is available in the demo, but I think we're just going to keep it nice and simple to start with. And it will generate our world. And here we are in our new world as a soldier. Hi there and welcome to Streets of Rogue 2. Use the WASD keys to move around and check out the sites. Press E to interact with people and certain objects. How about that person over there? It looks like they've got a quest. I will keep the tutorials on um, because as I mentioned, I haven't played the first one, really not quite sure how to go about everything. All I know is that you are uh, basically plonked into a, a world with a character, with a job or a faction, and you're left to your own devices. Mostly you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm glad it's got WASD controls because I didn't have my controller set up for this. So I thought I'd just use mouse and keyboard. Wasn't sure if it was supported, but looks like it's the way to go. So we can move around, push E to talk to this person, the slum dweller. Do you need my help? No, a job too small. You have a mission for me. Some guy told me he snatched all your money while you were sleeping. He also said he had a quest for you. Yeah, he actually used that word. Super weird. He's over in that shack over there. When we find him, we get some money and some experience. We have an XP bar up here. Health, obviously. There's it day-night cycle, I assume. All right, we'll accept your quest. There's a rabbit. Uh, okay. All right, a good uh, early preview of some chaos. I punched the rabbit, it aggroed me, and then my friend here, the slum dweller, stood up for me and punched the rabbit into the water. I don't know whether these people can get out of the water, but it sounds like it's their problem and not mine. So... Talk to the resistance leader that's up here. Your goal is to take down the mayor of the large city on this island. 
or just get them to like you enough that you have some sway in this town. To find the mayor's office, press the tab key to view the map. Useful locations are marked on your map once they've been discovered. Some other useful locations have been marked on your map. You might want to start by securing yourself a vehicle, marked on your map with a car icon, and then visiting the military outpost outside of town. Use ASDW, that's a weird way to say it, to pan the map and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Click anywhere you've discovered to see a local map. Nice. Very good. So we need to kill the mayor. Some other useful commands. R is stats, Q is inventory, mouse wheel is switch weapon, spacebar is NPC info. Oh, I see, yep. Cultist. All right. Stats screen. Endurance, speed, melee, firearms, and traits. Modern warfare. Health gradually regenerates when below 20. Nice. Uh, Q is inventory. We have a pocket knife and some landmines. Play a silly prank on people by placing this in their path. Lethal. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. All right, let's get on with this. It's such a nice looking world, actually. The squirrel, punch it. Whoa, whoa, get my ass kicked by a squirrel. Got the pocket knife out. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, oh, landmines, okay, I'll just keep my fist out so I don't accidentally stab or blow anyone up. Do I need to knock? Nope, <laughs> better not punch the door down. All right, the resistance leader. Hey, you made it. Sorry about taking your money. I had to do it to get your attention. Here's most of it back. Oh, thank you. Boom, completed. Got money, got experience. So listen up, I'm with a little group called the resistance. And if you don't mind me saying so, I think we have some pretty neat opportunities for an eager newcomer to this great land such as yourself. Before I can trust you, I need you to complete a little task for me. See, a buddy of mine recently borrowed my tooth. Okay. He said he'd give it back last week, but it's been like 10 days and I'm starting to get concerned. Can you get it back for me? We need to retrieve his tooth. We get a rusty axe and experience for our trouble. If we do it without killing anyone, we get extra experience. If we do it without pissing anyone off, we get extra experience. How do you retrieve a tooth without killing or pissing someone off? Unless they've literally just got this guy's tooth in his pocket. I'm gonna finish the job. You shouldn't have come back here, buddy. Oh no, the conservationists don't like that. <laughs> what can I do with this? Oh. Got me some squirrel meat. Regenerate health. Just eat a skinned raw squirrel. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think that might actually do more harm than good, but hey. All right, what a cool, uh, cool looking city. There's traffic, there's pedestrians, detectives. Detectives often do get around in uh, single file. <laughs> Retrieve item. So this guy has the tooth. Bribe with item. Bribe for $55 or threaten. 37% chance. I only have $75. I wonder if I can give him uh, no, he doesn't want the squirrel. Um, if I threaten him, will that piss him off? And I don't want to do that. I guess I'll just spend the money and bribe him. Thanks. And we have the tooth. Access proof that someone somewhere has been exterminated. And that's the tooth. Very good. These detectives are uh, just sussing things out. Keep up the good work, lads and lasses. Some more cultists. I don't know what the deal is with these. this cult. I'm sure we'll find out. So we'll come back here and hand this in. Thanks for not getting him too angry. I value all my friendships. So we got the rewards and the bonuses. Bam. Ah, so you're still interested in learning about the resistance. How about this? I need you to collect a bunch of wood for me. What's the wood for? I guarantee you'll never guess, not in a million years. And the rewards are a land voucher and some experience. 
Easy done. So we have a rusty axe. Nice. So I need to collect 30 oak wood. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not going to find oak wood on a beach. What's this? A fir tree? Fir, fir, juniperus, balsam. Uh, does it specifically... Iron boulder. Uh, does it specifically need to be oak? Whoa, a whole farm. Uh, why is it doing me dirty like this? Why would it ask for oak specifically? Oh, there we go. And then make it ridiculously hard to find. Okay, so we've got about five for chopping that tree down. Thankfully, there's a few more nearby. Nice. Looks like the weapon, uh, yeah, it has durability down to 95% now, so that's something to be mindful of. By the weapon, of course, I mean the axe. Uh, okay. Seven from that one. I've got 28 out of 30 now. I wonder if it's worth just getting a little bit extra since they're nearby. But now I might preserve the rest of my durability of that axe. So I've got 52 out of 30 and I can head back and hand that in. I've got a worker and a workbench, a little construction site or something there. And we'll make our way back to the beach and now just to the south. So 1 p.m. I've got $20 left. Uh, who are these guys? Slum dwellers. Okay. Resistance leader. Here is your wood. Wow, look at all those logs. Sit down, Mother Nature. Okay, got my land voucher. We're going to use that wood to build a house. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Why build a house? Because when I signed up for this job, they didn't tell me I wouldn't have any neighbours, and I'm a people person. I mean, you could build almost anywhere you want. Just use that voucher I gave you. It should be in your build mode inventory. Okay. You leveled up. Check out the skill trees tab of your menu and allocate your points. Okay, a couple of things to check here. Um, skills menu, right? Stats. More to come, obviously being early access or very early demo. This isn't complete. Skill trees, here we go. The skill trees menu is really, really janky right now and most of these don't even work. So just keep your expectations in check and prepare for delight when something unexpectedly does something cool. There you go. So plenty of skills. As I just indicated, not all of them are implemented yet. Medical is highlighted oh, because I have this trait already as part of my starting class. More health from health items. Animals, bodybuilding, building, cars, charisma. There is a lot to this, but uh, I won't pick and choose just because most of this won't be implemented yet, so I won't go too deep into this, but that is good to know. What I do need to do is finish this quest. We want to build four enclosed walls, a mattress, and a door. So what did he say it was in the build inventory? So if I open my inventory. Ah, build. This mode allows you to build your very own structures. Click the claim land icon to claim any piece of land that you can afford. Then use the other tabs to build walls, floors, and objects. Left click to build something and right click to remove and return materials to your inventory. Okay. Uh, so I've got a land voucher. Right, so it's in like a big grid. I can claim this land. Usually it would cost $400, but I have the voucher, so I guess it doesn't. You've claimed this land. So this is, look at me, I'm a property owner. Hot dog. Okie dokie. So, other oh, tabs to build walls, floors, and objects. Okay. So the mission is to build four enclosed walls, a mattress, and a door. Okay. Cabin wall made of oak wood. Luckily, we grabbed some extra. That's pretty easy to do. Four enclosed walls. We need a mattress. Good. 
There we go. Getting a full night's sleep has its benefits, including creating a checkpoint and saving your game. You can even sleep in someone else's home, though there's no guarantee they'll be cool with that. Well, that's fair enough. And a door. I'm gonna build a couple there. If you joined me for my roguelike playthrough, rogue, sorry, rogue knight playthrough, the zombie game, um, you might be triggered if I only had one door, so thank you for teaching me that lesson, those of you who are around. Uh, and some wood floors we'll put down. There we go. Uh, didn't quite have enough to cover that. What I might do, I might just add downsize. There we go. Fine. Done. So I can sleep here and have a little place to hang out. Get these cultists away from here. Go on, get. All right, return to resistance leader. Nice work. Thanks. You know what would really hit the spot after all that manual labor you did? A grilled chicken sandwich. Can you please make me one? All you need is some bread and a piece of chicken. I don't have any bread or chicken, so you need to grab them from the grocery store, or if you don't have the cash, you could visit Chicken Island. That might be a little dangerous though, okay? I'll mark both locations on your map. You can make it right here on my stove. Right, so we've unlocked a grilled chicken sandwich recipe and we need to go find some bread and some chicken. I do have $20. Without knowing the uh, the value of the currency in this world, I would expect a chicken sandwich is attainable for $20, but uh, we'll have to find out. It looks like there is a shop here. If that shopping trolley is anything to go by. We have a doctor, we have a goon. Interesting. They've all got guns, he's got a key. Is this a doctor's office or is he? No, he's on the can. And the goon was just sitting there watching. Anyway, I'm not gonna judge. What are you buying? I need some bread, $20. Chicken, $20. All right. Can I sell? I can, I can sell the squirrel meat. There we go, now I've got enough. Bread. Chicken. Okay, fair enough, thank you very much. Let's head back to the resistance leader and chuck this on the stove. Nice tunes playing. It's a good, cozy little game. I mean, I'm sure it gets incredibly chaotic later. But it's a good vibe at the moment. Let's use the stove. Crafting is very much in alpha mode right now. Recipes are still being worked out and most aren't super useful just yet. To try it out, interact with a stove, campfire, or workbench. Gotcha. Here's all our recipes. We want a, no, not a fried chicken. We want a grilled chicken sandwich. Required materials, bread, chicken. We've got them both. Plus one grilled chicken sandwich. Excellent. Here you go, sir. So admittedly, I had an ulterior motive for giving you that car. What car? Oh, that car. I need you to drive over to the next city and kill the mayor. I know that may seem like a lot to ask of someone who's just come on board. Historically, our organization has a problem with that. But I'll tell you, this is how you make a name for yourself in this world. First thing you do, pick a fight with the biggest, baddest person in the room. Okie dokie, that escalated quickly. We've gone from making a chicken sandwich to killing the mayor. Here's our car. You can change your driving controls to whatever suits you best using the button at the top of the screen. Oh, this one, yep. A, S, D, W, up, down, left, and right. The car dynamically determines when to go in reverse. Same as above, but pressing X manually switches between forward and reverse. Uh, okay, tank controls. Right. Oh, I see. Well, that's drifty. 
Um, okay, so the controls are not... Oh, I ran over a squirrel. And now it's chasing me. Oh, he got run over again. Anyway, I'm going to keep driving. Uh, these controls are a little awkward because I think I am expecting tank controls. But it's literally up is up, down is down. Once you activate a phone booth, you can use it to teleport between cities. A phone booth? Why not? Okay. May as well do that. I've activated it. Oop. Again, used to tank controls. Manual reverse? Tank. Oh, that might be better. Yeah, that sort of agrees with my brain a little bit more, I think. derp a derp derp dee derp a comedian. <laughs> I get it. Um, I need to go. Where's the map? Here we are. The mayor's office. Military outpost. A factory. Oops. Uh, world map. Whoa. How, whoa. This bloody huge. And I'm just on this little tiny section. Wow. Interesting. This game is going to be ridiculous. Uh, but let's let's focus on the task here. We need to go assassinate the mayor, apparently. Now, I think I did read earlier that you can start off with the military base, being being a soldier. Uh, but I think we'll just suss this out first. Oh, whoops. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to remember to drive on the wrong side of the road in this game. Holy moly, road rage. Just gonna avoid that drama. Uh, where are we? We're here. Mayor's house is to the west. Doesn't appear to be a health bar on my car, so I think we're okay with the occasional little prank. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Holy moly. Just gonna get out of here. Okay, he's gone. Uh, we might be here. Yes. Okay. I remember where I parked. rear entrance here and we are in the mayor's office apparently a billboard I think it's a whiteboard Got a big fountain nice gardens facilities pool tables ping pong tables ah security systems an elevator I need a key card to access floor two. Okay, well I'm guessing that's probably what we need to aim for. Find a key card. A power box, a server, and a secure room. Am I like trespassing at the moment? I'm not quite sure. I'm just sort of making my way around. Oh, a safe. I have no way to open it. A generator. I have no way to tamper with it. Control terminal. Read email. That would be rude. Well, at least we have our morals. Um, allow floor two access. Elevator access granted. Okay. Does that count as our key card? I guess. Uh, where was that elevator? Here it is. A goodie dispenser. I should go back and get some goodies when I'm done here. All right, level two, the mayor's office. Is that the mayor? That's an office drone. A goon box, excuse me. Aquarium. Commoners, a hacker, a scientist with a knife. They're the most dangerous kinds of scientists. A laser emitter. Right, so this place is secured. There's a goon with a gun. An intercom. Oh, another laser there. Um, don't really want to 
trip any alarms quite this early, do I? Oh, hacker and goon. Okay, there's accommodation here apparently. Goon and investment banker. Overclocked generator. Snack machine. Uh, kitchen shelf. Oh, I don't want to go in there. There's turrets. It's locked anyway. Interesting. I wonder what happens when I trip the alarm. Oh, can I get in here? Oh no, that's still... Oh, there's an alarm button. Uh... I guess nothing happens. Oh, hang on. The investment banker with an axe. Who you trip my alarm, he says. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so there is some attention drawn when you trip that alarm, but they're not too intense about it. So I might run through, hide in here, behind the uh, water cooler. Here's our investment banker again, checking the scene out. He sees nothing. A podium. I need the mayor's hat to give a speech, or else I'm just some crackpot yelling things. That is true. Oh, hang on. There he is. Behind a locked door. Hmm. Well, we know where the mayor is now. Uh, there's another secure room. Behind another locked door. The mayor is on the toilet. Wonderful. Can I smash the window? Or smash the door? Appears not. Hey, let me in. Hmm. Do I need to disable the security somehow? Oh, I can bash that door. Uh oh. Jeez. He's looking for me. Crazy. So they get a bit aggro if you break the security systems rather than just trigger it. Um, the issue is now I have no idea where the mayor is. Oh god, the banker with the axe is coming. Oh god. Whew. Oh no, you just have to use the toilet. Okay, it's alright then. Uh, where's the mayor? I wonder if I should just, uh, I did have these little landmines, right? Oh, jeez. Holy crap. A muscly pill. Uh, I was trying to set a trap for the mayor. I didn't think it would explode on contact with a door. Um, that's on me. <laughs> We've just blown up an entire room. Nobody seems to have noticed. Lucky me. Where is this guy? So I don't know if I'm technically trespassing here. I'm behind the emitters, the lasers. Whoa. People just live here? Oh 
avoid that. Um, he's he's here still. I just need to avoid the alarms. Don't have any way to tamper with it. Here it comes. Oh, dear lord. Okay. <laughs> that was a bigger response than last time. Everyone's a bit on edge, I think, after, you know, multiple explosions. Uh oh. Will you follow me? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have my knife out. Uh, and try and head back out. The mayor's back in his room. Okay. Look, I'm going to need to just trigger that again, I think, and just get running. Okay, we made it. This room is still destroyed, so I can just sneak right in. And he's sleeping on the floor next to his bed. I think. He didn't hear that. Every morning, butler bots come out to clean up all the messes you've made. How convenient. You may also notice that people will move into the homes of somebody you've forcibly removed from the game. That's good to know. Uh, how can I do this without killing myself now? Hey, buddy. Can I knock you over there into the mine? Whoa, through the wall. Got him. Okie dokie. Mary's dead. I got the hat. Congratulations, you got the mayor's hat. As per the law of the land, you'll officially become the mayor once you make your speech, so head over to the podium. Note, this doesn't actually do anything yet. <laughs> well, at least it simulates, you know, the real world. This is how mayors are inducted. It's a fight to the death, and the last one standing at the podium takes the position. Hello, everybody. Okay, this isn't actually in the game yet, but congratulations and stay tuned for functional speeches. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, just gonna. Is that the end of the demo tutorial, or do I need to hand this in still? That could be it. Could have just been a little demonstration of uh, how the world works here. What does my quest log say? Take down the Mary's not complete, so maybe I do need to hand it in. Okay, soldier in a Humvee is aligned because I'm a soldier. And he has that green aura, or the green ring around him. So you can easily spot allies, I suppose. Get off the road. Says me. <laughs> Alright, well, uh cruise down south and get back to the beach if I can stay in my lane a little bit over holy crap is that a bear who just attacked that car oh man this game is insane uh, here we are oh there he is right there we'll wake him up for this he'll, he'll want to hear this No, 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 don't punch him. Uh, I think that's... I think that's probably it. Looks like the tutorial is over. The quest is done. Interesting. Well, I think this is a good idea of what the game brings in terms of freedom and chaos. Uh, we went and assassinated the mayor. There was a few uh, unfortunate incidents along the way. There was a bear attacking a car. There was a... A mine that uh, blew up half a mayor's office building and security systems and safes and control panels and all sorts of stuff going on. So if this is just a taste of what's to come, um, I think this game is going to be ridiculous. And, you know, I imagine for people who've played the first one, you probably have a better idea than I do of what to expect from the world. But this is just insane. The sheer scope of it all. I mean, if we go back to the world map here, all this has taken place in this little section. 
And uh, this is the playground we have in the full version. So there'll be a way to get off the island. There'll be a way to explore this whole world. There's the president's home. I'm guessing you can become the president. And cities, little towns, highways. Looks ridiculous. Again, a very early first look, but some promising signs and obviously some very cool stuff to come. But I'm going to wrap it up there. Again, this demo is an early preview of the game. It's completely unfinished, but it's a nice little test. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's available for the Steam Next Fest. I will leave a link to that in the description below, and you can check it out for yourself or wishlist it to keep an eye on its development. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to me. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop, and I'm always covering new and upcoming indie games, and a few VR games as well. If you have any game suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.